Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to match day five of the Undead versus something. And it looks like, oh god, it's Purple Dark Elves. Purple Dark Elves versus Purple Undead. And we're playing only against half today. Uh, we will... Ooh, interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three bludging thingy bobs. I think we'll receive this. Yeah, we're going to receive. Because then I don't have to chase the damn things around. Uh, Cauliflower, did you want to do a prediction or shall I do the standard prediction? Just want my fumble minor semi. Then you get to bash is what you meant. Well, a little bit, I think, yeah. Congratulations, um, Dementor. Well done. Translation, Collie. I don't want to work. Collie probably can't find the uh, the prediction. Um, why attack first here? Because if you're playing this super carefully, um, your, op your opponent could pull back and then suddenly waste a load of time. They score on turn eight. And then I've got to make the uncomfortable decision of am I playing for the win or am I playing for the draw? If I'm playing for the win, I've got to play a short drive where I don't get to bash them very much. And um, we, they've probably still got 11 players. If I get to control the drive, I know the first drive, unless I mess it up, is going to be eight turns long and we get to put a little bit of damage into them. So therefore, when they're, when they're driving, they've only got nine. And if they've only got nine, it's a lot easier to control. What's the plan? This is super aggressive from our opponent. Jesus. So only 11 players, two rerolls and an apothecary. Uh, and they've gone really, really aggressive. We don't know if there's going to be a shallow kick. So, what are we set for? That, and that, and that. Um, the blitz isn't the most important thing this turn. The witch elf is all the way over there, so that surf is not going to be a thing. block is a block. Actually, no, it won't. What we'll do is we'll do this. That'll do. Right. This this setup tells me our opponent's going to play this very aggressively, so we won't need to play very aggressively because that they because they will. Uh, we're going to play in distinctive colours in this match to try and help uh, tell what the hell is going on. It's still fine. Yes. So that is in an entirely different game. Last game, we managed to remove something straight out the gate. This game, no removals at all. And in fact, we need to play this quite carefully. That's just bonkers. The yeah. 
I can't, I can't leave a ghoul out there. That is insanity. Turn. Hey, Ham! Uh, prediction. Is the not prediction up? Sorry, did one of the admins not do it? Unbelievable. I can't get the staff these days. There we go. Uh, 10-5-4. Thank you very much indeed for the raid. Welcome. I need to break the animation bug you switch it in animations. Does it actually fix it? Options. Game. Gameplay. On break. Never. Confirm. Back. Resume. Be interesting to know if that actually works. <clears throat> right. Turn two, we're okay for time. That can go there, then we get the two dice here, then we get the two dice there, which is useful. School goes there. the power we were looking for. And that means we now get one, two, three, four, five assists on that dirty foul. Um, problem is going to be making the ball safe, so therefore, ball can fuck off for a turn. just get sent off though. <clears throat> oh well. Apothecary gone. Fuck me. Wow. Okay. Sneaky get day player not working there. Oh, did I get sent off as well? Oh, Jesus. Rubbish. Rubbish. Well, I did ponder whether he was going to play an aggressive line. I didn't think he was going to be quite as aggressive as that. Can't both be happy. If one is happy, the other is not. Yeah, Shamba, I describe it as a seesaw of happiness. If I'm happy, then your opponent, my opponent probably isn't. And if I'm unhappy, then 
My opponent, no, hang on. If I'm happy, yeah, if I'm happy, you're sad. If you're sad, I'm happy. There we go. Are you happy because he's sad? That's an interesting question. Shit, I hadn't thought about that. Well, that's knacked where I was going to blitz. <clears throat> quite frankly, I'm quite annoyed at that. I really want this value here. Really want this value here. Um, not super happy with the blit this being left over. I do want to blitz for the mummies because we've got the um, I could blitz here I could put a mummy in that corner there the ball could go there Ghoul could go stand there. And if I just double tag this, this corner, we'd be fine. I think I'm going to do that. Problem is the guard white is absolutely hung out to dry at the moment. Therefore, that can go there. That can go there. we do with this we'd offer you the choice so personally find the hard choice hard to evaluate uh, so Suku it, there is an awful lot of choices that go into uh, whether you should kick or receive and it's, it, it is not one size fits all to that answer of what should you do. So let me give you some examples of why it makes such a difference, right? Imagine I'm playing an absolute beginner, complete beginner, played three games of Blood Bowl. They basically know the rules and that's it. And they don't even necessarily, they, they can kind of grasp blocking. At that point, as a rule of thumb, if you're playing Blood Bowl, you should receive. If I'm playing a person of that skill, I'm going to kick because if I can turn my opponent over in two or three turns, I'm 1-0 up, I get to defend again, and I might be able to do two or three turns, uh, two or three turnovers. After that, on my offense that starts in the second half, I can choose to go and score quickly, and then I can rack up a really big cricket score. So that's about not nothing to do with racial matchup. That's everything to do with uh, skill-based ma skill matchup, coach-based matchup. Good evening, Jimmy. Uh, have you put your team in, by the way? I assume so. Equally, if there are two really strong coaches, then receiving first means that you can score on turn eight, and then the opponent has to make a choice between 
Are they scoring quickly and playing for a win, or are they going to play passively and potentially play for a draw? Of course not. I'm going to put deadline 8pm tomorrow. I'm going to think about it. Oh, have they moved the deadline? Motherfuckers. They told me the deadline was now. I've put my team in already. Motherfuckers. That's annoying. Oh. Uh, oh well, I've put my team in now. Wish I had. I wish I'd sat and thought about it. <sighs> Who doesn't like a good flexible rule? Uh, where are we going to put this ball? Just where it is, actually. Down there. And goes down there. Block the throne. No. Turn. No, they aren't public. No. I do, I do generally think that receiving first is generally, and we are talking in generalisation terms, but I think generally that's really strong. Equally, there should always be one play that is better than all of the others, even if it's only by a couple of percentage points. And therefore, once you can find that edge, you should do that. The trick is to identify it. Yes, Jalev. Why does your Nukekov team have five skills? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, you haven't been around for the World Cup. The, the World Cup where uh, people were making fake teams so that when people went and had a look at someone else's profile, there was a team that was not what they were taking, so that then you tried to get an edge by going, I'm taking dwarves. Oh, really? Well, in that case, I'm taking dwarves. Um, when actually you were going to take something completely different. Um. <laughs> oh, God. Right, this is turn five. This is actually slightly more problematic. Um, I think we're going to take one more turn of value, and then we're going to go for the full fat. Um, beast mode. Um, oh, Jesus. Well, I'm going to have to throw that hit because I think the mummy's got to walk forward here and, and become part of the screen. Yeah, the mummy's got to go forward here. Otherwise, I'm never going to get further forward. What's that? Right. Gotcha!
That needs to go there. That ghoul needs to go over here. That ghoul needs to go there. This mummy needs to stand here. This ghoul is going to throw that block. So therefore, that's going to go... That's going to go there. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. Mummy's actually going to stand there then. Jimmy, how many um, teams do you think are viable? P people in chat earlier were saying there's only about four actual teams. Three teams. Sorry, three teams was actually. I'm, I'm less sure. I think there are five, six teams I think you could play. I think... So I think... Dark Elves, Lizards... Skaven. Orcs. All look strong. Oh, and Underworld. So there's five. I think you could play those. Yeah, you're not allowed to play. Not allowed to play. Um... Oh, you mean playing against one. Yeah, yeah. If, under... if Undead were allowed to be picked, they'd absolutely be in there. But they're not. Kaelin says Orcs aren't great. Orcs are fucking amazing. How do you build well? I don't know about that. So our opponent is absolutely sh uh, slamming into us. One, two, three, one. So that mummy's going to go there. Um. That goes there. That goes there. Right, now a little bit of blitzing. This is annoying that he managed to get this. All goes forwards. Is there ever any time? So he might stack something over here. We'll put that there then. That can go. That can go there. There we go. Underworld not as strong with no inducements, which makes dwarves not as strong, which makes darker a bit stronger, which makes lizards a bit weaker. I like how you've thought that through. Darko is looking strong as fuck. If we were to guess which team I was taking, I always think it's pretty obvious. Yeah, I, Dark Elves are absolutely... Uh, were... are... Um, it, was, it was Dark Elves or something else was my choice. I, I just was like, you, you want to play for money? Dark Elves. I, I can play Dark Elves. Surely it's corn. Not, not, not in 2024, it's not. It's 
annoying. Well, these have all got a dodge. Have I played this? Have I slow played this too much? Nah, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I might well have slow played this a little bit too much. inducements <clears throat> and you'll play the same roster um, for the finals as well so whatever you pick here is what you've got to play all the way through cool well, there's the gap very much. And we've got one more square to go, so do we go and bother those two? I think we probably do. So that can go and stand there. Therefore the cage is that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. cage corner is the problem. If only we had a a, a, uh, a player that had movement four, five, six. Ugh. Ugh. Oh shit, that's a dodge. Oh, you moron. Didn't see that. Whoops. Don't do that. And the stun. So if we stop players from being able to do too much by going and standing you here... This is just about touching players and forcing them to dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your camera angle is still odd. Makes it less low. Um, I, I, I'd rather it was tilted slightly more up. So I'd, I'd rather look at it from a slightly more top-down perspective. Press X. Oh, not quite as much as that. Fucking hell. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's much better. Thanks very much. That's better. That's a much better view. So <laughs> much later, still into play. I've already played this. F uh, yeah. Imagine, imagine putting it in as this is the default code. Um, Camera angle. Imagine that. And while we're on the imagining things, imagine if the ghouls and the um, skeletons and the zombies actually were different shades and they all stood out from one another as their base default. Imagine that. 
Because I do think that and that look very similar. The only reason I have to play with a skill ring is I can't tell the difference. Uh, it, it's it, The ghouls in Blood Bowl 2, you, you could really tell the difference of where they were and what they were. I, 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 I find it much more challenging in Blood Bowl 3. We've got a reroll and we need to go a little bit of damage, so let's see what we can fish out of the damage pot. We are, after all, just a banger. that two dice three dice so there's there's a cheeky three dice and there's a cheeky two dice we'll hit the lineman because it's easier to knock over i like quite a few models i don't like i don't the, the models are all right i just don't understand why they're not different shades that the, that you could have made the ghouls flesh just a flat different colour to make it stand out. If you look at it like this, you can tell the whites. But they, I feel like... Yeah. I, I don't understand why it wasn't changed. Uh, no, we don't want to set it like that. It would have it would have just looked even better. That's all. Anyone any just out of curious, does anyone anyone know yeah, think I'm wrong? Does anyone think that the the, the flesh colour is yeah, it, it shouldn't be changed. The shading is the main issue. Yeah. I'm after some more for tea. David taught me that. Good luck, KB. And make the bone colour a little bit brighter and whiter. Yeah. Well, right. So, more to mellow. The, the standing and the poses and stuff, they've come from Games Workshop. So, I don't really think they had much to do you're never wrong except when you want to be. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't have a problem with the poses. I think yeah, the models themselves came from GW. I just think that that they're very difficult. No, they're not very difficult. They're not easy to tell apart at a glance. That's the statement I'm making. They're not easy to tell apart at a glance. Specifically, the zombies and the um, the stroll, the strength three players. If I put those three strength three players next to each other, when I I will do it when they're setting up, I'll turn the skill ring off. Just tell me at a glance which one's which. The animations and poses have nothing to do with you, but I thought the poses were the poses from the the models. You can tell which. Yes, yeah. Thankfully, Jimmy, you're right. We can tell which ones the mummies are, and they've got the big red skill rings under them, because red means mummy. I like the Blue Ball 2 movies. I thought they looked really cut smart. All right. Here we go. Ooh, blitz. Twat. 
flat. Yeah, I, I just would have liked to have seen them um, just look a bit different, that's all. I think he's fucked this up because normally what you want to do is you want to score with this. Uh, so if you block here, you then get the push and you get the second push. Um, but I think it's been... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's wrong. I prefer a tree. Right, so he's only got 10. Going into the second half, he's only got 10. That's all right. We can, we can deal with this. <laughs> I like how you're a positive. You didn't sift the bludge blitzer. Uh, ooh. Uh, what are we saying? That's pretty good, that is, Kalen. That is pretty dangerous. Fucking hell, that's, yeah, that's dangerous, that. That would give me pause for thought. It's not as good as my roster, but it is pretty good. Let me see the white go there. Howdy, everyone. 18 months of lurking. Cool, cool, cool. Let's swap that goal with that goal. I want to see how our opponent's planning on playing this. Um, are they going to try and stall for 1-1 one, one or not? Oh, Faust, Dad, thank you very much indeed. Happy double baby day. 18 months, you're an absolute legend. Thank you. The shoulder pads at that point would be the same size as Hendy. Surely. Uh, and he's on BABB3. So, I... No, and I've been just been too busy. I've not been here, so no. I've sent some. I've sent some more places uh, to things off, um, but no. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna contact the old venue and put it there next year. Basically, so then people can plan. It means all of my planning, all of my planning that I was like, we could do this and this and this and this, all of it gone. I wanted the third one to be bigger than the second one, but never mind. Treacherous trapdoor. If anyone wants into that or that, bad things happen. Uh, where's the payout? Payout coming along now. Manage prediction. Choose outcome. Winning! Right, so this looks like already our opponent's choosing to set up to play for the 1-1. I like it when you put a player on a trapdoor and the game crashed. Oh, God.
Oh, Jimmy, if you're still here, by the way, if you turn off animations, you don't get the animation bug. Someone in chat realised that earlier. Genius. Yeah, I mean, that should have been a trapdoor, shouldn't it? Scandalous, it's not actually a trapdoor. Not just anyone. Yeah, quite frankly, it just improves the whole experience. That goes there, that goes there. there. Where's the other witch elf? She's all the way over there, so that's not going to be a thing. Whoops. Blitz. And then I want to stand here. To try and trap that bludger. See if we can then try and force my opponent to do something, right? So we've got contact in all, all the right places. Full grabby touchy. Yep, you go full grabby touchy here with Undead and see what happens. He's not playing one turn, he's good, yeah. Oh, my claw palm got sent off on the first bloody KO. That's well shit. It's not as good as you with game two, but it is pretty good. Uh, Full-time prediction, yeah, go on then. Whoops, wrong button. There you go. Huh? Right, so our opponent is absolutely only playing for the draw here. So now we know what, our, what the game state is. Um, we can put. We need to put a little bit of pressure on in the next two turns to force the ball to come forward or not, and then we can play blood ball. Was that a cue for more dinos? No, fucking what? Stop with the dinos! There's a free lino surf. Wonderful. Dazza, what the hell's that? It looks like some sort of like weird hypno disc. Hello, Rando. to an exciting world of 1D. Well, actually, that, that's fine, isn't it? So, block and follow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go 
goes there, that goes there. That stands up. Absolutely are going to ignore um, uh, this. Goes there. What I'm looking for now is a Powski on uh, the Bludger. Okay. Never mind. Turn. How does Prowl Driver work? It costs you a foul action, yeah. It's an atrocious skill. It was when it was first written. People thought it was a free foul action because it says, "Didn't it say free foul action in the actual uh, d uh, dialogue, text dialogue?" Oh, Murdoch, thank you very much indeed. There's nothing free about it. it says so in the description. Murdoch, thank you, sir. Freeze, you've made a block too. Ah, right. That classic free, not free scenario. <laughs> free is in shit and free. Hello, Bob Piff. Good evening. Did you qualify, by the way? I, I assume you did. The man of your calibre. Dear. So someone asked about whether or not um, it was a good idea to um, uh, kick or receive. This drive is paying, uh, playing, uh, explaining why it's specifically a shit idea to kick. Um, because I'm playing Let's Chase Shadows and it's miserable. on the right side of the ball. Uh, is this the undead field? No, this is the um, this is the uh, dark elf field. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're in the way. Chain push do anything. There we go. Right. Punch, punch. Punch, punch. Follow, just to keep in contact. Can 
we find another pal. Oh, that's pretty good. And then we're going to do blitz here and then we get these two south. There we go. Good. Stay. What I'm trying to do is just make sure that we've got as many players as possible as far south as possible so that inevitably this is turn 11. These four players come down here. This is going to swing round. He's going to have five players and we're going to have a, a block of players to deal with it. How would you fix pile driver? It's a weird skill because if you let it be a completely free foul with the current synergies of sneaky get dirty player, it would go from being shittest skill in game to being broken as fuck. Right, it would go from trash to amazing. Yeah, I would get rid of it completely. I'm not sure guard needs to assist fouls. I think that's a strange change. Not sure. All right, it shouldn't. There you go. I'll, I'm going to get off the fence. It's probably the most broken thing about it from Sneaky Git. Yeah. Mighty Blow 2 is pretty, pretty up there, though. So he's got one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. He's got six bullets. Right, that goes in there. That stands up. We'll blitz this lineman and get in front of him. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. We're going to go and stand there then. Two, three, four, five, six. So the guard's going to stand in here. You're going to go there. You're going to force that to at least go backwards two squares so it halves its movement. And we come south. Guardman goes in here. That would take care of an actual player. That, that stops him having a player for free. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to take care of a player. Because it just lifts, it lifts one of the players out. So he's now only got four players. There we go. Don't forget DP TV2. DP2, when you can combo it, is probably the worst thing in the game. Like, Borak plus two bribes, where the bribes now let you can go, you can use more than one. Borak plus bribes is the most broken thing in Blood Bowl. Granted, it's an edge, it's not something you can just easily set up, but it is the most powerful thing. This looks like a score. This smells like a score. Yeah. Cool. We get to play for the win. <clears throat> oh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sweet. We get to play for all the marbles. Well, what was, uh, James, what was it in uh, LIB4? Wasn't it um, uh, claw, Claws Razor Shop Claws? It was plus two, plus two or some nonsense, wasn't it? Was it was it two two or three three two two? I only started playing at LRB four. I'm a relative baby to this game. Right, what we got? It must be my thirteen. It can't possibly be my turn twelve and his turn fourteen. So he must have scored on thirteen. So that must be a lie. So it's actually we've got four turns here. Oh. Oh, the UI. I want to put something else in here. I, I feel like I want the three dice block. I feel like I want the three dice block, but maybe not. How did teams ever survive games? Well, I, rem I remember playing on Fumble once, and Dirty Player was plus three or something insane. I, I remember it being bonkers. Whether it was three or two, I'm not, I'm not totally certain. But I remember watching an, uh, a Wood Elf team systematically run round and just gang foul something every turn with this Dirty Player. And they just killed this, this Orc team. It just absolutely blew it to pieces. And it was a real eye-opening experience. Just watching a team get completely demolished. By the way, the Orc team was me. <clears throat> Ever since that day, Davo has been a banger. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being a banger. Right, Jim? <laughs> uh, what are we going to do here? Um, definitely want to pick the ball up. Also, I don't really want to just get surfed. The idea here is we just go fetch the ball, bring it as far forward as possible. So, Daka. Oh, James, that was in LRB4, wasn't it? You, um, you you could play with less than 11 players. And then you got inducements based on how many players you actually had, which was bonkers. Again, I remember playing Wood Elves with, with uh, like a handful of players. Turn 14, get the ball to the middle. Turn 15, get the ball forward. Turn 16, score. 
This should be fine. Four player advantage, we should be fine here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> That's currently looking like the best blitz. No, it's not. That's a terrible blitz. Don't blitz there. That's looking like the best blitz. And then we just get to put the ball over here. Some of the old rules make it... Yeah, look, well, like, Blood Bowl in its old form just was was murder ball. Like, literally was just murder ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, cool. I'm going there then. Don't think we've got the resources to be able to surf. Which makes me very sad. Yeah, we haven't got the resources to surf this. So I could put that there and I could put that there. If I don't put people at the back of the cage, we could block and we could stand something at the back and we could hoof it into the touch. But I'm a player short. And I'm not risking the 3 plus dodge here to do that. I'm not doing it. I'm not risking it. Winner, winner, dead. The ball is pretty tame now. We hit had cards like blatant foul, just killed players. What? <clears throat> well, when you take when you take guard first, of course you can expect casualties straight out of the gate. He's gonna get a mighty blow next. Beautiful. Where's the one that's not getting skills? So that's a casualty away from leveling. That's a casualty away from leveling. That's two casualties away. That's uh, three. Notice we count everything. Everything in terms of casualties. It's not terms of star player points or anything else. It's just casualties. Not tackle. Um, so I'm going to build one of these with guard and mighty blow, and the other one's going to get tackle, mighty blow. No, the other one, they're both getting guard first. Fuck that. They're just getting guard. Guard is the skill. Can't stop me now. Unless he does some hero shit with this. Maybe the journal. That was a long time ago, that James.
Right, what are you building here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. One, two, three, four. Johanny Ghoul goes in. Ghoul. One, two, three, four. White. Ghoul. There for the two plus, and then we've got two, three re rolls. Um, put these in. Then Three MA blitzes are really playing off for you. What do you mean? Wolves and Sons had 40k rerolls. I remember at Amazon's stand, the old stand firm, where you play, Amazon's just had the ability to, um, oh, I'll dodge. Oh, it didn't work. All right, I'll just stand firm. It just cancelled a dodge. You couldn't fail a dodge with stand firm. I always thought that was a little bit strong. <laughs> that was just... What? Undead had zero four whites. Well, do you remember... Kemri had... Um, four mummies. Not four Tomb Guardians. Four mummies. And so they started with four Mighty Blow. Yeah, that was fucking insane! Yeah, have four mighty blow. Oh yeah, and infinite fouling, yes. K Kemri were, were a real problem. Dark Elves had Dark Elf linemen, so that balanced things. Surely you just send this in, surely. Tim Kings were awesome. I meant you need to cancel that out first, but sure. Okay, cheeky little Kabamski. This is only a casualty away, so why not? Winner, winner, winner. Sure, hands guy is getting blocked. Well done, Jay Bentley's revenge. Well done. Hooray! Fucking hell. Crap MVP. Oh well, never mind. Strange state in a bad computer game, but the pacing of Blood Bowl 3 is off. Uh, yes. Seeing God, Block Guard, Zombie. No, because they're too expensive now. No. Because I'm, I'm taking Block on... Impossible to join. Why? Oh, expensive mistakes. Right, okay. 
Uh, let's expensively mistake that. And Surehand Man is now getting blocked. So now we've got a blood Surehander. That's going to make everyone feel a little bit safer in chat. Uh, and we're nowhere, we're nowhere on the important four. That's done. That's brilliant. That's done. That saves for movement increases now. And then these guys, I'll probably build one into Frenzy and one into Bludge Sidestep, I think. Um, I think that's probably the way forward. And that takes us to five wins. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you very much.